This is Brendan with QZAC Prep. What I have for you here is a video on how to cram for the ACT math section. So again, week before the test, maybe the day before, and you're trying to figure out what you can do to get your math score up as much as possible in the next couple days. The math section is going to be one of the hardest to cram for, and there's a few reasons for that. It covers a lot of content. It covers pretty much everything from pre-algebra up through the end of Algebra 2, and even some uh, components of pre-calculus or trigonometry, depending on how your uh, school structures their coursework. So there's actually a good chance that there's some math on the ACT that you've never seen before. If you're halfway through pre-calc, or maybe you're still in Algebra 2, um, there's going to be some topics that you're not familiar with. But that's OK. You can still do pretty well even without those. Now, when cramming for the ACT math, you have to remember that it really is a content-based course. Because it covers all of those subjects, uh, the best thing you can really do is try to refresh uh, topics that you learned fairly recently so that you can kind of jog your memory pretty fast, um, but not so recently. So, so usually what I recommend if I have a student the week before the test who is just, just trying to figure out what they need to do. Uh, depending on what class you're currently enrolled in, um, it's going to be changed. Uh, so if you're currently in geometry or algebra 2 or pre-calculus, uh, you want to review topics from the last two quarters. So let's say we're um, you know, in the, the, the third quarter of the year, you want to look back at the topics that were covered somewhere between August and December. The topics that were covered in the third quarter are probably still pretty fresh in your mind. You probably, you know, the, the test you just took last week, you probably remember how to do uh, let's say those were on uh, polynomial factors. You probably remember how to solve a quadratic equation. Um, however, if you did logarithms um, three months ago and you did exponents a couple weeks before that, and before that you were going over how to simplify rational expressions and find vertical asymptotes and things like that, that's what you're going to want to review. You're really trying to avoid this, oh, I knew this moment on test day where you've realized that you've seen it and you've seen it recently but you don't quite remember it. And what we want to do is make sure that, that you don't really have that problem, that all that content that was covered in, say, the first half of Algebra 2 is fresh in your mind. Uh, you're hoping to get maybe three or four more questions correct than you otherwise would have. Uh, if you can get three or four more questions right, that's usually going to give you about two points on the ACT math section, which is about as good as it gets in a, a, you know one day of cramming. So if you can just make sure you're very solid on those topics, uh, go back to review your course notes, um, utilize Khan Academy. You know I say it all the time. Uh, there are wonderful sections on Algebra Two on Khan Academy that you can go take a look back at. Now, if you're in calculus, uh, it's probably a slightly different story. Um, so if you're in calculus, you're probably in calculus as a junior because you're pretty good at math. Um, so you're probably already kind of scoring on the higher end. Uh, what you really want to practice here is probably the last 10 to 15 questions of each practice test. These are going to be the topics that you're most likely to forget. A lot of the earlier stuff you constantly revisit, whether it's functions or, uh, you know, there's not really limits on the test, but sine and cosine, you cover a lot of these topics kind of again and again throughout your calculus course. Um, but if you really just work on those last 10 to 15 sections, that's probably going to be the fourth quarter of pre-calc or some kind of more obscure topics in Algebra 2 and Geometry that you're less likely to remember because they're not constantly coming up again and again in math. Based off of whether or not you miss those questions, again, try to be resourceful and try to uh, just pick a few topics to learn. If you're missing things on, say, series and sequences, uh, go learn about series and sequences. Learn the difference between an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. If you're forgetting matrices, go ahead and learn a thing or two about matrices. But the key here is don't try to learn everything. Uh, it's not possible in a day. Um, uh, I know from college, uh, you try to cram, um, you try to learn it all, it doesn't really work. It's much better to focus on a few topics, uh, especially with a test like the ACT, which covers several years worth of material. So that's it. That's kind of how you can study the day before the test to try to prepare yourself to maybe get two extra points in the math section. Hope it's helpful. Again, not really any, no content in this video, uh, just study tips and what you can do with just a few hours to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you find this video helpful and good luck tomorrow if you're really cramming to watch in this last minute. Bye.